Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode for the Coaching Conversations podcast. Now, we are on Stitcher, we are on iTunes, and multiple different channels. Please check us out. Now, one of the things that you'll get out of our podcast episodes is a lot of content, a lot of strategy. It's not fluff, it's not concept. Yet we really want you to engage with the content and let us know your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If there's topics you'd love to have us address, we would love to share them with you. Let us know your impact and let us know your feedback. So what does it mean to be approachable and coachable? Let's take an approachability coachability test. Number one, do you schedule time to seek feedback and only say thank you? Not rebuttal, not ask for an example, just simply to hear the feedback. That's question number one. Number two, if somebody had to use a word to describe their comfort in approaching you, what's the first word that came to your mind? And if you ask somebody else, what's the first word you think they might say? Question number three, on a scale of one to 10, 10, you are calm, professional, transparent, and number one, you can feel a sense of emotion when getting feedback you don't like to hear. Now, this is an emotional intelligence question. The first thing that we want to tell ourselves is, oh, I'm a nine or a 10. Be honest with yourself. 85% of people significantly lack self-awareness. So we're going to ask you the question, what is that like for you when you hear feedback Honestly, between 1 and 10, 10, you're comfortable, you're calm, there's no emotional interpretation or reaction whatsoever, or 1, you can feel some emotions. Where would you rate yourself and why? Now, these are three very simple questions. So think about approachability and coachability. What if everybody on the team, what if everybody in the workplace where you work sought feedback and just said thank you? Now, the first thing that people say when I share that, especially when I do speaking, is they make comments like, well, what if you hear something you don't like? We want it to go away. We want to discount it. We want to dismiss it. We want to get rid of it. Yet we also have to understand that there is a value in understanding perception versus intent. Let me just share this with you. I enjoy conversations of conflict. So what do some people perceive me to be? Oh, argumentative. He loves conflict. He loves putting people in their place. I actually don't. Yet I have a healthy relationship with, if I'm in a disagreement with someone, I'm willing to have the conversation. All subjects, racism, religion, I'm very comfortable. That doesn't mean I'm always right, and it doesn't mean I always handle it well. So I have to understand that what is my approachability and coachability? How do I make people feel? Ask yourself, how can I improve my approachability and coachability? And more importantly, What positive impact will that have on the workplace and the team? Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called coach to you where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign 7 to 21-day programs for employees to learn and more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.